Uh, okay, so the first candidate I examined was Representative Earl Blumenauer. Blumenauer ran to keep his office in the House of Representatives for Oregon as a Democrat um, in this year's midterm elections. In this video, Blumenauer takes a strongly liberal standpoint uh, by arguing that marijuana not only in its medical form should be legalized, but also in its recreational form. Uh, his point of view is best expressed in what they actually used as the title for the video, which is, Let's Legalize, Regulate, and Tax Marijuana, which was part of a line Blumenauer says in his conclusion. Uh, all in all, Blumenauer's argument is fairly weak, because what he fails to do is recognize that there's an opposition to his standpoint, and as such, he doesn't really defend his argument as well as he could have. Uh, first of all, Blumenauer begins by arguing that legalizing marijuana uh, would result in leaf of relief of social issues in Oregon, namely policing. Uh, the first thing he brings up with relation to policing is overuse of police resources on catching criminals with marijuana. He says that if mere marijuana were um, legalized, there would be less police resources used and that would save um, tax money going to the police or allow the police to catch more suspicious, more dangerous crimes. First of all, with this um, argument, he doesn't actually list any evidence, which is like the start of what makes his argument weak. You need, he needs evidence to back up his claim, otherwise it's far too easy for his opponents to go in and use evidence of their own and convince with logic um, his audience in a different manner. But the real issue is what he does next. What he does next is he s brings up the higher incarceration rate for young blacks compared to young whites. And on the face of it, this, first let me say that this also doesn't have a direct statistic at or a source listed. But in this case, we've all heard the statistic enough to know that it is valid, it is reasonable. The big issue here is that the entire premise of this part of the argument is a red hair. The incarceration rate of young whites and young blacks has nothing to do with this issue because the young whites and young blacks are st would still be under the legal age for marijuana. In this case, Blumenauer, it's not only a red herring, which is a logical fallacy, but could also be used as a rhetorical device. The big issue is that it, it brings up this whole other side of the argument that his opposition could use it against him. He brings up the idea of young whites and young blacks and their incarceration rates, and it doesn't support his cause, but his opponents could come back at him and ask him about, well, why would this change incarceration y rate for young people? Do you mean to say that if we legalize marijuana, we'll let minors have marijuana, people under 21, and cause all this addiction? And it really unravels into that argument that the um, conservative base uses, one of the arguments, in this whole issue of we have an issue mar legalizing marijuana because there's already drug abuse with that drug. And Blumenauer inadvertently brings up something that could be used to further that point. Uh, and it's not the only red herring he uses. He actually uses a couple more throughout the speech. We'll focus on one more here. Um, he says, we have an epidemic of prescription drug abuse that kills more people every year than heroin, methamphetamines, and cocaine combined. Again, he's lacking evidence. Again, that's not the big issue. Um, it's a red herring again because prescription drugs don't really have to do with legalized marijuana. Um, given, well, granted, mer medical marijuana would be a prescription drug, but uh, it's a false analogy to draw um, claims between current prescription medications and legalized medical marijuana. Um, but that aside, the issue we have is that um, he again opens in this avenue of attack for anyone who chooses to oppose him. He doesn't seem to realize that there will be people to oppose him because he's bringing up these three drugs that are actually 
he doesn't bring up marijuana at all in this section. He just brings up uh, the heroin, methamphetamines, and cocaine. And this really is like one of the quintessential arguments against legalizing marijuana. Marijuana is known in like most circles as a gateway drug. And one of the arguments against legalizing it is that if we legalize marijuana and people start taking marijuana, whether for medical or recreational uses, it's going to lead them into more dangerous drugs. And his bringing up those three different drugs allows um, any opposition, any conservative base to go against him saying, well, what do you mean when you mention those three drugs and not marijuana? Do you mean that uh, the government should legalize those two, or do you mean that these people will start taking those drugs as well? And it spirals down in a way that's really not favorable for Blumenauer. Uh, basically, his mistake in making his argument can be summed up with his line about uh, marijuana being something that most Americans now think should be legal. He basically is not looking to see another side of the argument. He's pushing as if um, as if he already knew that m marijuana should be legalized and he assumes that everyone in his audience believes the same. It's... I mean, that line's also a bandwagon appeal, but the main issue is that he doesn't notice the fact that there will be people going against him. It's the nature of the bipartisan system we have in America. Um, so he brings up two, these two unrelated issues, the policing and the prescription medication, and they can just be turned into arguments against him. What he really needs to do to strengthen this argument is first get some evidence and establish at least one good claim to support we should legalize marijuana. Maybe he could take the um, policing resources because that wasn't a red herring, he just didn't have statistics. Maybe he could take that, um, strengthen it up, bring in some evidence, and use that as one of his claims. Uh, after that, he really should take out some of these red herrings, because they are opening opportunities for his opposition that, honestly, he really doesn't want them to have. Um, basically, he needs to acknowledge that there's another side of the argument, and I think if he had done that for this video, he would have created a stronger argument for himself.